I am going to show you how to create a new product in ConnectWise Manage. To start, we go to Procurement and up to Product Catalogue. Right click and open in a new tab. The first step will be to check that the product is not already in ConnectWise. Please um, use the other video that uh, is called How to Search uh, for Products in ConnectWise Manage. If the product is not in ConnectWise, you first of all click, click on the plus sign to add the new product. The default product entry screen comes up. The product ID is the barcode of the product, which is normally found on the exterior of the product. So the first <coughs> or the next step to take is to enter this barcode, which can either be typed in manually or scanned. Accuracy is important if typing it in because this cannot be changed at a later date. Then we tab to the next line and enter the description. And that is important that it starts with the manufacturer's name. So if it is an Epsom ink cartridge, and um, it would start with the word Epsom. This helps us to do searches on product at a later time. So we might type in Epsom 18XL. black cartridge. Then this is piece here is equally important. The default category is commission and this means it virtually has to be changed on every time we do it. So an ink cartridge comes under hardware and um, as the first category and the subcategory will be ink. Now to find the category name that you're looking for you can type the first letter of the um, subcategory and that brings up um, more options for you or narrows the options down. The price, the unit price is the price that we sell it to our customer less VAT. So if this price was £20 it will be £20 less VAT. <clears throat> In this case it's £18 so uh, the um, unit price is 15 and if it cost us £12, that is also the price without VAT. And this sales tax line is immensely important. If we don't tick this, it will come up on the till at the price without VAT. And consequently, the customer will be charged or undercharged. So sales tax must always be ticked. And the customer description is going to be... Um, the same as the description at the top so that can be copied and pasted into position. We then have to come to where it says manufacturer which will be Epsom and then we take the uh, Epsom uh, part code from the product which is normally on the product and that will be a series of letters and numbers. And the vendor will be the wholesaler that we brought the product from. On some occasions where we deal directly with the manufacturer, the manufacturer and vendor will be exactly the same. Um, so we enter here. The could this probably would be UFP. It type the U and UFP comes up <coughs> from the list, and then we put in the UFP part number which will be different in many cases from the distributors. Once that is done you should click on save and close and that is how we enter a product 